Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I send my tasks from Tana to ClickUp. So I thought, why not make a video to show you exactly how to do it? Today, I'll guide you step by step on setting up the make API request command in Tana and show you the automation that seamlessly sends tasks over to ClickUp using make.com. Now, I created this workflow for two main reasons. First, I use ClickUp for my task and project management, so it's my go-to tool for staying organized. Second, I use Morgan as my calendar because it integrates beautifully with the ClickUp. And this is very important to me because I like to time block certain tasks directly on my calendar. But before we dive in, here's a quick note. If you're subscribed to the Insider membership at mindstoneconsulting.net, you can grab the blueprint of the automation you see in this video along with other downloadable resources right there. Link in the description down below. All right, no more waiting, let's get started. The first step is to create a command in Tana. It's pretty straightforward. Just hit Command plus K to open up the command palette and type in convert to command node. Once you see it, click on it and then give your new command a name. Let's call ours ClickUp for this example. Now, the command we are focusing on today is make API request. Click on add configuration and you'll notice a few parameters that need our attention. First up, we have the API method. Since we are sending data from Tana to make.com, we'll set this to post. Next, we have the payload field. Here, we define the data we want to send over to make.com in JSON format. Let's say we want to send over the task name and the date it's due that will be stored in a field within the task super tag, which we will call due date. Now, to write this JSON, start with an opening curly bracket. Then add a key value pair. The key is name. After the colon, we put the value. To grab the name of a node or a field's value in Tana, use this syntax. The dollar sign followed by the variable name in curly brackets. For the name of the node, it's simply name. For the date, it's just as easy. Use the key date a colon, and then the field name, in this case, due date. Finally, there's the parse result field. Simply set this to disregard. Now, as you might have noticed, we still need to insert the URL to send the data. This is where make.com comes into play. Make.com, if you're not already familiar with it, is an online automation platform that connects various applications and automates workflows, all without needing any coding skills. If you want to give it a try, by clicking my affiliate link in the description below, you can get access to the Make.com Pro plan free for a month, including 10,000 operations per month. Alright, once you're logged in, click on Create a New Scenario and give it a name. Something like sending tasks from Tana to ClickUp will do for our example. The first step is to add a custom webhook module. Click Add. Name it something like tasks from Tana and hit Save. Now copy the generated URL and save the scenario. This URL needs to be pasted into the URL field of the Tana command we created earlier. What this does is it ensures that every time we trigger this command, the data we've defined in the payload field gets sent directly to this address. Next, let's create our task super tag. Open the configuration panel and create a field called due date, setting its type to date. Then copy the command node and paste it into the command palette field under the AI and command section. This will place a handy command button right next to all nodes tagged with the super tag. 
Now let's create a task and apply our new task super tag. See that? The command button is right there, ready to go. Just choose a date and we are all set. Now let's jump back to make.com, click on run once and you'll see that the scenario is now primed and waiting to receive data. Head back to Tana, click on the command button we set up and then return to make.com. Look at that, the data has arrived complete with the name and the date. Now, before we send this data to ClickUp, we need to make sure the date is properly formatted. Here's how I like to do it, by adding a set multiple variables module. This module will allow us to create the two variables we need, the task name and the date that we are going to send to ClickUp. First, click on add item and give the variable a name. Let's call it task underscore name. For the value, we want to use the data sent from Tana. As you can see, we can easily insert the data we collected via the webhook module. For this variable, we're specifically interested in the value stored under the key called name. Next, click on add item again, but this time we're creating a variable called task underscore date. Now, here's the tricky part. We can't just use the key labeled date. There are two reasons for this. First, formatting issues. The key currently includes unnecessary text like square brackets, the word date, and colon. Second, data type mismatch. If you hover over it, you'll notice its type is set as text, but we actually need it to be a date. So what's the solution? First, we need to extract the specific portion of the text that represents the date. For that, we use the substring function. This function allows us to pull a segment of a string between a starting and ending position. Here's how it works. I insert the value I want to use, so date, from the webhook, followed by a semicolon, then the starting position in this case it's 7, another semicolon, and finally the ending position, which is 17. Now we've got the date formatted correctly, but it's still in text form. To convert this text into an actual date type, we'll use another function called parseDate. This function takes a string containing a date and transforms it into a proper date format. So we use the result we just obtained as the first parameter, followed by a semicolon, and then specify the date format we need, like year, month, day. We are finally ready to add our create task module for ClickUp. But before doing that, let me quickly show you the ClickUp structure I'll be using for this example. I've set up a simple structure. I created a space called personal and within it a list named Tana. Every task that gets sent over from Tana will automatically land in this list. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's get back to make.com and add the ClickUp create a task module. The first step is to connect your ClickUp account to make.com. Just follow the prompts, it's quick and easy. Once connected, choose your ClickUp workspace, the space, the folder. In this case, I have no folder, so I use the folderless list option, and the list Tana. Now it's time to map our variables. In the task name field, we insert the task name variable and we insert the task date variable for the due date. And why not, let's assign the task to myself. 
Once everything is set up, click OK and save the scenario. Alright, we are ready to roll. Let's test this out. Click on Run Once, then switch over to Tana and create a new task. Lastly, hit that click up button. Now let's jump back to make.com and voila! The scenario worked perfectly and if we head over to click up, there it is. Our task is right where it should be. And that's a wrap. In this example, I used ClickUp, but you can adapt this workflow as you prefer. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon, and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my bi-weekly newsletter for more content about productivity, knowledge management, and automation. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.